Everybody and welcome to Hit the Book Survivor Series Edition. I am your host, the mayor of Raw Town, uh, not to be confused with Slam Town, Ryan Knightsey. And with me, as always, is the the head honcho of SmackDown Liveo. Anyways, uh, Mikey Man Freddy, Mikey, how you doing, my friend? I'm a survivor. I'm a go get. <laughs> no, continue, continue, but add in more wrestling fun. <laughs> I'm a survivor. It's not another pay per view. I'm a survivor, survivor. not TLC or <laughs> on Destiny's Child, not <laughs> TLC or it's Survivor Series. Me and Ryan. This is a pay per view where instead of me and Ryan working collaboratively to make an awesome card, we are actively feuding at this one. Correct. We have. We you know this is. If you remember our Money in the Bank pay-per-view, we, we've done a little bit of changes since then, refined it a little bit. Uh, like every other pay-per-view, if you are a new listener, what we do every single week on this show, on this program, of course, thank you for listening, is that we, uh, every single Friday, we have an episode where we book our own version of Raw and SmackDown. It's every single gosh dang week. And here today is our pay-per-view special of Survivor Series. Like Maggie said, typically... We uh, booked together, but now we are going head to head. We got a bunch of dice in front of us going, you know, d- uh, role playing, dice rolling style here. It's Survivor Series. I'm on Raw. He's on SmackDown. It's the first time we've done this brand versus brand thing here, man. Yeah. Uh, um, and not the first time we... we've done Survivor Series, but the first time we've done Survivor Series where we're going head to head. Exactly. And instead of, you know, I th- I think it's fair to say both of us want a lot of our people to win i think a lot of us would love like the the you know i, I think also there's a the, the little bit of the the shutout little the shutout as well but i also think there's like a little bit of this like survivor series thing where like the results don't really matter or change anything yeah. but <laughs> but so i think we you know we, we embrace that and we're gonna add a little bit more fun with the dice rolling uh mikey so obviously we have the two survivor series matches and a bunch of the four champion versus champion matches but let's start going over this card. And why not start off with the pre-show where we got a little also match announcement for over on the SmackDown side. All right. So starting off on our pre-show, we have Kaliso taking on Grand Metalik. Yes. A little bit of a little bit of a, a Lucha House Party dissolvement. That's not the word. Yeah. A little dissolvement there. There we uh, go. Grand Metalik turned on Kalisto a few weeks ago when they lost to Andrade and Morrison in a tag team match and beat Kalisto down with a chair. And now these two are feuding. I uh, guess we'll see what happens. Uh, also up in the pre-show, we have a 20-man battle royal for the final spot on Raw's Survivor Series team. I'll go over all 20, men, 20 of those men when we get to that part in the pre-show, Mikey. Uh, you know, and we'll get to the backstory later, because I guess there is a lot of backstory. Um, moving along to the main card, Mikey. What do we got? All right. First match, we have Roman Reigns, Drew McIntyre, Murphy, Alistair Black, and question mark. Yep, uh, all uh, the way from NWA, question mark, will for, be joining For the us. first Survivor Series match, uh-huh. taking on Kevin Owens, AJ Styles, The Miz, Samoa Joe, and Karrion Cross on the SmackDown side. Uh, that'll be our, our Survivor Series opener. Yes, we should say that this is in order of the show. Uh, we mm-hmm. also have the first champion versus... <laughs> we have four straight champion versus champion matches here. First one up is Ricochet, the United States, the newly minted. Uh, United States champion in Ricochet taking on the Intercontinental champion Sheamus. After that, we got Shayna Baszler, uh, the Raw Women's champion, taking on Sasha Banks, the SmackDown Women's champion. Honestly, probably one of our biggest matches. Like, Agreed. our biggest, like, not like built to it, but like the most subtly biggest matches, mm-hmm. I would say, in our, in our history of this show. Uh, and then we have the LLC, also newly minted. LLC, Cesaro, and Lashley taking on Undisputed Era, Bobby Fish, Kyle Riley, tag teams versus tag team champions. Mm-hmm. Uh, then we got the Universal Champion and WWE Champion going head-to-head when Keith Lee takes on Sami Zayn. And finally, we have the Women's Survivor Series match, 5-on-5 five Eliminator, where we have the Team SmackDown of Alexa Bliss, 
Bianca Belair, Piper Niven, Tony Storm, and Charlotte Flair taking on Sony Deville, Peyton Royce, Rhea Ripley, Mickey James, and if you have not watched our 2K outcome, uh, where uh, last week, last Friday's episode, we rolled the randomizer and a little backstory, folks. But we had, we had to simulate the results of Nia Jax versus Liv Morgan for that last qualifying match. If you have not seen it, go check it out. Great video. Uh, but the results are in. The final member of Raw's team here is Liv Morgan. So thank you, simulator gods, for giving me the result I wanted. Uh, but now we are ready. We have the full card in front of us. Uh, before we get to the actual main card where things, you know, more matter, uh, Mikey, and we have to go explain more things about how we're dice rolling, let's talk about, let's get these, knock these pre-show matches out of the way. Why don't we start yeah, off let's with, let's do that. Why don't we start off with Kalisto versus Grand Metalik? Yeah, so in our first pre-show match, Kalisto's taking on Grand Metalik, like we said earlier, and in this match, Grand Metalik picks up the victory. Hey! Over Kalisto. Hey, pushing, pushing Grand Metalik. Just pushing this feud a little more, you know? Show that Grand Metal League isn't the same old Lucha House Party Grand Metal League we've known, and he's a little more aggressive, a little more violent, and a little more hateful. I like it. I like it. Um, I like it a lot. I think that's a good uh, good call. I'm interested to see where Grand, Le- Grand Metal League goes. I think, you know, I think either of these guys, you know, could have a sort of a singles run. I... I Personally, and you know this because I wanted Grand Metal League in the draft. Uh, I think Grand Metal League as a single star can. I personally would have him as so, sort of a contender for a mid card title. Um, so I wonder if you will have him do the same. Will he win it ever? I don't know, but I mean, this is just my opinion. So I have no idea what you're thinking. Your old noggin. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I guess we'll see. I might put him into a few, but Kalisto. Who knows? He might get into a title picture. Um, we'll see where my, like you said, we'll see where my brain goes. Yeah, or Grand Metal League versus Sami Zayn uh, for the <laughs> Universal, Universal Championship. Uh, yeah, yeah, or he can be the replacement for Humberto since Humberto's gone forever. Not a bad idea. Uh, and then next up in the next pre-show match, we have the twenty-man battle royal for that final spot. Uh, like I sort of mentioned before, folks. Uh, last Friday, uh, Ricochet, who was supposed to be in the Raw's Men's Survivor Series team gave up his spot in that match to take on Tommaso Ciampa uh, for the United States Championship, where Ricochet won. So that leaves, obviously, a hole in the team. We're going to have a 20-man battle royal to determine that final spot. Tommaso Ciampa uh, complained about it, the fact that he has to, he's now in the pre-show and has to earn his spot back. Let's see if he can. Mikey, that tw- those 20 men in this battle royal are as follows. Oni Lorkin. Drew Gulak, R-Truth, Lindsay Dorado, Tommaso Ciampa, Shelton Benjamin, Mojo Rawley, Tony Nice, Mustafa Ali, Cedric Alexander, Eric, Ivar, Otis, Tucker, Cruz, Dezawa, Reed, Ruas, Ziggler, Rude. Love it. Big old, big, big old group. Big battle royal here. I like it. Big battle royal. What do you think? What's your, what's your take on this battle royal? Who, who do you got? my pick? Yeah, who's your pick? I love asking you who your pick is for like these sort of things, whether it's a tournament battle royal or whatever. I love right. seeing what you're thinking. I'm taking I'm gonna take a bolt I think I'm gonna take a bolt pick here. What is that? I'm picking Oni Lorkin. Oh, Oni Lorkin. Nice little pick there. Nice little pick there. Well let's see what unfolds. I do want to mention that R Truth comes out in a referee shirt. Of course, uh, uh, and he doesn't enter the ring, so he's seemingly he's basically and en- he's refereeing the match on the outside. Now I now I want to say our truth's gonna win after that. <laughs> after that, you just pulled. Um, you know the match happens, the match is taking place. Uh, you know he does his best. Our truth does his best to referee. You know he's learning on the job here. He's making some bad calls, like he's saying Dolph Ziggler gets eliminated after one foot touches the ground instead of the two. Uh, and that mm-hmm. gets a whole thing with him and Dolph Ziggler there. Uh, really up. It has ups- to be two. It's, it's got to be two. And he's like, ah, two. And he keeps forgetting. Uh, he makes bad calls. But, he, you know, he eventually gets it. Gets a couple calls, a el- couple eliminations. Um, the last two in the ring, Mikey, uh, are Tommaso Ciampa and Oni Lorkin, however. So you did get, you did net Oni Lorkin there. 
Uh, but this always happens to me. I always guess the second place person. Why do you, I didn't even say I didn't even say who the second place person? You is. said but. <laughs> uh, I guess that's fair. Tomasa Champa eliminates Oni Lorkin. Yeah, but then because you never enter the match, Truth yep. runs in, throws Champa out of the ring. Great. Our Truth wins. He is the last member of Team Monday Night Raw. As soon as you said our truth doesn't get in the ring and he's on the outside, that's when I was like, oh, it's going to be our truth. <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts on that, Mike? <laughs> uh, very bold. Uh, very bold. Very bold addition to adding a referee to the Survivor Series team. <laughs> I Yeah, <laughs> maybe, maybe too bold. Uh, but, you know, I went for it. So you you can't blame me for at least going for it, I guess. No, it's it's definitely interesting. Uh, I, I can't wait to see how our truth uh, uh, f- meshes with the rest of the team, <laughs> with the team of Reigns, McIntyre, Murphy, and Alistair Black. Yeah, well, I have quite the quite the team here. Um, okay, well, speaking of Survivor Series team, let's get into it. Uh, this time around, like we said. We're doing some dice rolling. We have a whole mechanic in play. Mikey, let's explain to the audience what is happening with this mechanic. Uh, Would you like to go straight ahead for it? Yeah, okay. So the way we are doing this is in this uh, this Survivor Series match, each superstar is going to have base 10 HP points. Mm -hmm. Uh, They're going to, that's their health. And then me and Ryan are going to use our D&D skills to roll some dice. Yes, because the skills of rolling dice are real. Yes, <laughs> using our skills to roll our dice, uh, we roll our first. We're gonna re-roll our d twenties, mm-hmm. which determine who hits who. Uh, whoever yes. rolls the higher number will hit the person who rolled the lower number. Uh, and then we have a little system for uh, natural twenties and crit failures on one. With a natural twenty, the superstar, uh, the superstar will regain three hit points. Yes. And then on a one, uh, the superstar will take double the amount of points from our damage dice, which comes next. Uh, our damage dice is a D6. So whoever gets whoever gets to get the hit off on the other will roll a D6 to see how much damage they inflict. And like I said, on a one, that damage will be doubled. Yes, a, a one on the D20 is when the D6 yes. get doubled. Um, I think it's fair to say, Mikey, I, I think in the Money in the Bank we had, we did like, oh, this person attacks this person. Let's just say we're attacking a specific person. Mm-hmm. I feel like just trim down and say like, oh, I'm going to go after uh, Kevin Owens. And then, you know, this, that's what I'm going to, when I deal my damage dice, I'm saying that. I think that also applies for like healing a wrestler for three health. It can mm-hmm. just be whoever. We don't have to pick. Well, we do pick, but we're just like, oh, I'm going to pick our truth Putting... Know? Carrying Cross in this match was a very bold move because he could easily just get squashed by somebody. Yeah, he's gonna, is I'm gonna terrifying. I'm gonna terrifying. I'm gonna have our truth pin him. Oh god. For the memes. For the memes. Well, oh, uh man. with that out of the way, with that rules explained, we're gonna do them all for our championship matches as well. So get ready for a lot of dice rolling here today, folks. Yeah, it's gonna be uh we're gonna be we're gonna have fun a fun time. Yes, so let us, without further ado, Mikey, let's get to it. Let's roll these D20. Yeah. Oh, my God. So I also have, like, a dice tower in front of me, so it's going to make a lot of noise. But, like, Mm -hmm. my dice tower was made, not really, it was made well, but also slightly faulty. So it just, like, shoots out my dice. Incredible. So it's going to be bouncing all over the place. Oh, D20, I rolled an 18. I rolled a 14, so you win this one. Ha-ha! You get the first blood. Yes, and I roll my D6 with my D20. My D6 was a 4, so I'm going to hit uh, Samoa Joe for 4. Okay. Uh, going for the second dice roll. Let's keep it moving and grooving, folks. I already won. I'm already a big old winner. Um, if you remember Coke Game Money in the Bank, folks, we did, like I think it was like 15 or 20 health for each person. Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, so... We wanted to, you know, trim it down a little bit, refine it a little bit better. Um, so yes, exactly. Uh, Mikey, I've rolled my second. I rolled a four. <laughs> I rolled a nine. <laughs> Yikes! Bad start for SmackDown. 
And on my D6, I rolled a six. So you know what? Why not? We'll just take out Samoa Joe immediately. Big. Wow. Big elimination <laughs> on Samoa Joe right off the bat. So get him out of here. Get him out of here. Yikes. Smackdown I don't want him. Has, has a big deficit here. Yes, they do. They're working from behind already, Smackdown. Yeah. What are you doing? Okay. Moving right along. <laughs> Mr. High Roller over here, Mikey. I rolled a 10. I rolled a 20. Okay, so one of your superstars <laughs> regained three hit points, it's but no one's be... taken a shot yet, so... Oh, okay, so I can't, I can't, I can't max him up even more? Yeah, that makes sense. That would be unfair. <laughs> uh, I, I rolled a 1, so I'll, I'll hit, I'll take Miz down, I'll hit Miz for 1. Okay, Miz is at 9. I'm a Mr. High Roller. I'm feeling good. <laughs> I'm feeling good over here. Alright, <laughs> let's do this again. I rolled, I rolled a five. I rolled a nineteen. Finally getting oh, a shot in. Bring it on. Who are you gonna hit? Uh I'm going to hit Alistair Black for four damage. Four damage. Bring Alistair Black down to six. Moving right along. Let's keep it going. Gotta go for a little speed on this one. I rolled a sixteen. I rolled an eight. <laughs> uh I got a six on that one. I nice. hit Styles for six. Wow. It's not looking good for SmackDown here. No, SmackDown is getting brutalized here. Raw, Team Raw is really getting their crap together. I mean, I guess, is this kayfabe-wise, like, what how the eliminations are happening? I don't think so. Uh, oh, I need to re-roll that, because I actually messed with it. Uh, I rolled a 15. I also rolled a 15. Ah. We never decided what happens on a, a tie. I think <laughs> we just we? re-roll, right? <laughs> re-roll, sure, 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 sure. Uh, 7. And 11. Dang, I got nice. you slurp, I gotta, like, slurping me, slurping me, baby, slurping you, slurping me, and daddy. I rolled. I, rolled a, <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. I <laughs> I rolled a three. I'm gonna do three damage to McIntyre. Three damage to McIntyre. Ten to seven on McIntyre. Let's keep it rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. I got it. Keep it rolling. rolling. Good one. I rolled a six. I rolled a nine. Nice. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, what are you getting on? Who are you hitting? Uh, I'm going to hit Murphy for five damage. Dang it. Okay, so so far Team Raw is Roman and Truth are at ten. McIntyre's at seven. Black is at six. Murphy's at five. Uh, SmackDown, Cross, and Owens are at ten. Miz is at nine. Styles is four. Joe is gone. Yeah, Joe's out already. Yes. Feeling good with that. I got a ten. I got an eight. Okay, well, I rolled a one, so it doesn't matter too much. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear down Miz some more. Let's bring him down to eight. Miz is at eight. <laughs> Let's wear him down. I rolled a eighteen. I rolled a nineteen. God damn! I one hundred percent blew out my audio there. I'm gonna back up this microphone. <laughs> All a right, bit. got a little lucky there. Let's do. We roll here for damage. I'm gonna hit. You know what? Let's let's start let's start chipping into the armor of Roman Reigns. Yeah, I rolled a six. I'm going to hit Roman Reigns for six. Start chipping away at the armor of uh, Mr. Roman there. No, they take no. off that bulletproof vest. No, he needs it. <laughs> according to according to reports, he needs it, right? God, remember, the, remember on the internet when everyone was like, oh yeah, apparently there's a report saying that Roman Reigns needs the chest protector to wrestle or get more hernias? Uh, that didn't make any sense. I rolled a five. I also rolled a five. Dang, okay, we re rolling. I rolled a six. I rolled a ten. Okay. Well hit me. I'm gonna hit R Truth for oh, four damage. damage. Four damage. Bring R Truth down to six. You're really you're going after everybody. Which yeah, is, I'm, tr- I'm know, trying to I'm slowly wearing everybody down. Yes. I rolled a two. My worst roll yet. I rolled a twenty. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm going to restore three hit points to Styles and bring him back up to seven. Okay. Uh, what's what's the attack? Or who the, attack the attack is to McIntyre for six. Oh, no. <laughs> McIntyre's at one. Oh, that might be my first. I, it's not looking good for me over here. Gotta be honest. Was feeling good at the start, and now I'm feeling bad. I rolled a 10. I rolled a 14. And I and I'm gonna hit R Truth for six, taking him out. R Truth is out. Got lucky there. 
our truth is out. Now, again, I don't think this is necessarily like kayfabe. It's just a matter of who's winning, right? Mm-hmm. But still, our truth being out is no, no fuego for me. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's a bummer. Uh, okay, our truth right. is out. We we each have four left. That's correct. I rolled a seventeen. I rolled a five. <laughs> Thank God, I got a four. All right, who uh, you hitting? Let's Owens. Yep, Captain Ko, bring yep. him down. Whoops, typed <laughs> in the wrong box. Captain Ko is down to six. Okay, I rolled an eight on my d twenty. I rolled. A four. Oh, yes. Rolled a five on my D6. Five on cross. Get Ooh, him down. Yep. Fair enough. Oh, my God. Right, cross, I'm nervous. Cross is at five. Okay. So, so far, Team SmackDown is at uh, Miz at eight, Styles at seven, Owens at six, Cross at five for a total of 26 health. Mm-hmm. Uh, for Team Raw, I have Black at six, Murphy at five, Reigns at four, McIntyre at one for a total of 16 health. I got you're a couple of lucky shots t- in. You're up by 10 whole health points. I'm terrified. Rolled a 17. I rolled a 16. Damn it. Haha. Number five. I rolled on my D6. Oof. Let's, let's, uh, number five. Let's take out Cross. Ooh, bummer. Bummer storyline wise for me. Trying to build up Cross as this monster here and, uh, he gets taken Hold out. Up. Hopefully he got taken bridge. out by, like, McIntyre or Reigns or something. <laughs> Yeah, I feel, I like I feel a little bit better sense. about myself. Uh, on my D20 to attack, I rolled a 13. I rolled a 6. Ooh, not looking good. Nope. Uh, D6, I rolled a 4. Let's ta- let's hit the Miz for 4. Alright. Four, dam- 4 damage to the Miz, putting him on 4. Correct, sir. Alright. That, that D20 on. has been rolled. You're, you just knocked over everything, it sounds like. I just lost my D20, but I got it back. Okay, there Beautiful. we go. Beautiful. I rolled an 11. Rolled a 5. God, I, I rolled a three in my D6, so three on Styles. All right, Styles down to four. It's really, in that in those quick moments, it's literally now you have 14 total health points. I have 16. I've now caught up completely. Uh, D20, I rolled a 17 again. I rolled a 12. I only rolled a one on the D6, so let's do it on Owens. All right, Owens down to five. This is not, this, this stopped looking good for me all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> it just it it quickly changes the course of action quickly changes. I rolled a three. I rolled a one. <laughs> I thought oh, I, no. I heard you rolled a three, and I was like, "Oh, I got him this time." My dice was not happy about it. So, so you, to be clear, when you on a one, that means my dice d six is doubled. Obviously, right? Yeah, that's what that means. Yep. It doesn't matter because I rolled a six on my d six. <laughs> so that's twelve. Someone gets knocked into the next century. <laughs> Uh, that's gonna be Owens. Captain I'm gonna take out Captain Ko. I keep typing in the wrong box. Captain Ko gets knocked into the absolute next century. Yes, he has been eliminated. Bummer. See a cap. You're more of a skipper now. Ever, since, since we did the the HP updates, I haven't gotten a single hit in. This is correct. This is my plan all along. Eighteen. I also rolled an eighteen. Dang it! Burned burned a good right dice roll. A three. Seven. No. <laughs> All right. Uh, no. Let's see. I'm going to hit. Uh, I'm going to take out McIntyre. Roll the two. Okay. McIntyre is at one, is now down to zero. I have no longer have Truth nor McIntyre, but you have lost Owens, Joe, and Cross. Yeah. Whew, boy. I rolled an 18. I rolled a 10. My dice is, like, not happy about rolling over 10. This is true. This is accurate. I, I rolled a two on my D six, so let's do the two on the Miz. Okay, Miz is down. Miz is down to two hit points. This is getting close. I need. I need to get lucky here. Okay. Rolled an eleven. I rolled a three. I rolled a one on my D six. Let's attack the Miz again. All right, Miz is down to one. Slow burn on the Miz here. <laughs> Miz, a lot farther in this than I would have expected. I rolled a 13. I rolled a 7. Because my dice can't go over 10 for some reason. And on my d6, I rolled a 1. See ya, Miz! Wow. Miz, Miz with the slow death. It's very slow. Just slowly being destroyed by Roman Reigns. All right. All right, Styles. It's all up to you, baby. Yeah. He, oh, maybe he was the, the true captain of this team. Oh, no. 
I rolled a one. I rolled a 17. Oh, no. <laughs> I rolled a one. And I rolled a three on my damage dice, which is doubled. I'm going to take out Alistair Black. Yeah, I mean, that's that's completely fair there. Alistair Black eats a phenomenal forearm, probably. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yes, he does. Oh, bring it back to the, the old rivalry on Raw there. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, it's uh, Styles at four, Reigns and Murphy at four and five, respectively. I rolled a... I rolled a three on my D20. I rolled a five. Oh, damn it. Will this be the end of Monday Night Raw? I rolled a six on my hit dice, taking out Murphy. Wow, Styles might actually bring this one back. Oh my god. Styles. <laughs> oh man, now it's just Styles versus Reigns, four to four. Oh my god, what a match. Yeah, we're down to maybe the wire this, here. Maybe this should be kayfabe. <laughs> yeah, right? Styles and Reigns are the last two here. Maybe this should be kayfabe, because this is pretty legit. <laughs> pretty legit going. I mean, Truth lost immediately. You know, he was the first one gone. Joe, I mean, I think, you know, maybe... Joe lost immediately. I guess that's true. Maybe it's not kayfabe. Maybe, maybe it is. Let's see. D20 roll. 20! I rolled a 1! No! <laughs> no! Reigns, because I rolled a 20, goes up to Reigns, go to 7. Oh, no. I rolled you a have to roll a 1 I rolled... here or else I'm dead. <laughs> I rolled a 5 oh, on no! my D6, doubling to 10, Styles from 4 to negative 6. Oh, Styles almost brought it back. Oh my god. Oh, but I rolled a 1 on the last hit. That last hit was 20 to 1. That's ridiculous. Can we talk about, first off, 20 to 1. You're right. Insanely ridiculous. Cannot believe that took place. But also, can we talk about what a, what a finish. Rain, Roman Reigns versus AJ Styles. It was, it what was a finish. Styles versus Reigns, Black, Reigns, Black, and Murphy. Yeah, and Styles yeah, was like, respectable. Hold on, I got this. Took <laughs> out. I mean, respectable moment. I mean, you could. I, I would. I would argue this was. The, we should have these as kayfabe because that was pretty legit. <laughs> yeah, Styles was like, "All right, time to turn on my A game." Took out <laughs> Murphy and Black on his own, but couldn't. Couldn't handle Roman Reigns. God, I feel like we're 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 creeping along a new system or a new 2K randomized 2K outcome where it's a 2K outcome with the dice roll off. <laughs> you know, we simulate the matches this way. Uh, holy crap! So Roman Reigns, I, I'm gonna call it kayfabe. I had a different plan, but I like the idea better that this is kayfabe. That last two were Styles and Reigns because it's just I thought this went off perfectly. I thought this I really liked this match and how it went down. Sidebar. Next year, yes. Survivor Series matches, all 2K outcomes. <laughs> oh my god, beautiful. Uh, we should do it like WrestleMania or something. That would be fun. Just, uh, we should do a pay-per-view like that, it'd be fun. Yeah. Uh, I, I really like that. Mikey, I don't know about you, but I'd say we keep these as all kayfabe. <laughs> yeah, I mean I, I mean, I like it. The one thing I don't like is Cross getting out so early, but otherwise... I feel like, I feel like for carrying Cross, it was one of those... I, I would like to believe it was one of those spots where like the entirety of Team Raw hits all of their finishers on him. I would agree. I, I I'm totally okay with that. I mean, everyone you know, was like there. Black I think hits him with the so... black mask, and he turns around into like a Roman Reigns spear, something like you know, yeah. like just all of the moves at once. I think Truth was the only one that was out. I think so. Yeah, I think if everyone just hit their moves mm-hmm. on cross, I think perfectly take him out that way. Roman Reigns. I I also really like the idea. Roman Reigns. Not only Team Raw gets the win. Very happy about that. But I love the idea, honestly, of Roman being the lone survivor here. Mm-hmm. I think that is very interesting. Uh, after what to, after what he's kind of been through on Raw recently. What he's been through on Raw and the fact that he didn't show up to work on Monday. Yeah. Like, that was the storyline there was that he didn't show up. McIntyre was trying to lead this team. And then Roman was the last one standing. Yeah. Roman surpassed it all. Right. If there's something to say there, then there's something to say there, I guess. Uh, well, let's keep it moving, keep it grooving, folks. Uh, moving on to our next matchup. It's a champion versus champion match. Ricochet versus Sheamus. Mm-hmm. Uh, we did we did say we're doing a lot of uh, dice rolling here, so we're going to continue that dice rolling. So strap in for more dice rolling, see how this match plays out. Uh, instead of 10 HP, Mikey, we're going to have 20 HP for uh, these folks. But it's uh, a one-on-one you know, matchup. Correct, Amundo. Let's get to it. Ricochet versus Sheamus. Let's see who wins. <laughs> 20. Six. 
<laughs> eat my butt. All right. Eat my butt. D six. D six was a three. Doubled is a six. Well, no, doubled is a me rolling a one. Oh, you're right. Uh, Ricochet doesn't heal for three. I, God damn it! I guess I should celebrate the twenty. Yeah. But still, right, so Seamus goes to seventeen. This is true. This is true. God, I was celebrating for no reason. Uh, seventeen for Seamus. Okay, moving right along. I rolled. A, speaking of seventeens, I rolled seventeen on my d twenty. I rolled a seven. Ooh, and my d six. I rolled a six. Ricochet getting quick offensive. Ricochet here to prove there's a storyline back here, folks. That Ricochet. Was going after Sheamus' Intercontinental title when Sheamus was on Raw. He got drafted over to SmackDown. Ricochet now won the United States title from Ciampa. So, you know, there's a storyline here, I feel. like. You know, I, I switched. I, I brought up my blue di- my blue metal dice today for SmackDown, mm-hmm. hoping it would give me luck. But it turns out they're cursed. I might have to switch out dice here. That's fair. I, I'm sticking with my black dice because I'm doing pretty good with them, I feel. Except I just... I rolled a th- Go ahead. Sorry, I rolled a three. I rolled a three. Okay, thank God. That's a savior, saving grace right there. Uh, I rolled a 12. I rolled a 6. Oof. Uh, I rolled a 1 on my D6. So, Seamus now down to 10. All right, it's official. Dice is getting switched out. These are cursed. Opening bout. Uh, opening moments busting out. We're busting out the wacky dice, Ryan. Opening moments here. Ricochet still at 20. Seamus at 10. I Ricochet is just on a tear through Seamus. Yes, we're busting out the wacky dice, though, so hopefully that'll change things. Ironically, Seamus, in part of the storyline, Seamus said that he uh, felt that, oh, those are, oh, that is wacky-ass dice. It's not a... a D- that's my D6. Your is D6, you know, everyone knows what a typical D6 looks like. You know, open up Monopoly, D4. you got it. You're basically showing me, like, a prism of a some sort. A pyramid, yeah. Like a little prism thing. These are really cool. I, fa- I got these, uh, I found these, these wacky dice. Uh, maybe you can post. A, maybe we can post a picture of them on Twitter so people can see. Yeah. Uh, but I found these wacky dice on uh, at PAX when I went when we when conventions were still a thing that were able to happen. <laughs> uh, when I went to PAX East for for a day, that was super fun, and I found these wacky dice and I couldn't resist. I mean, uh, those are pretty dope. After rolling my metal dice, though, these feel like really light. <laughs> I feel like I'm just gonna like eat this across the room by accident. I love it. I love it. Uh, let's keep it moving. Seamus versus Ricochet. Ricochet's at 20. Seamus is at uh, 10. I rolled a 1. I rolled a 14. Oh, well, great. Great. Seamus is back on the offensive. What's that D6, baby? D6 is a 6. Oh, no. Doubled. Just doubled to 12. <laughs> Ricochet goes from 20 to 18. Right? Big yes. to 8. 8? Shit, yeah. I can't do math. Because you, you take 12 damage. <laughs> to 18 is 2 damage. I said I I said what I meant, and I meant what I say. Oh, damn it. Immediately lost my lead. Uh, I rolled a 10. I rolled a 15. These dice are much less cursed. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, lost my D6. Hold on. That's a 5. Oof. Ricochet down to 3, just like that. Seamus said, nah, son, my turn. I like to imagine this is the moment where, like, Tommaso Ciampa gets involved in this match. <laughs> or, yeah, something like that. Because all and, of a sudden like, it's... Distract re- Ricochet. I rolled a one. This I is it. Two. This is <laughs> This is it. I rolled a one, dude. You won. I, not if I roll a one. This is true. That's my only saving grace. That was my saving grace last time, and it didn't happen, so... True. I rolled a three. Oh, man. Ricochet out. In, in a quick comeback, I do like the uh, the kayfabe idea that it, that Ricochet was, like, rolling and, like, taking out Sheamus, and then uh, Champa runs to the, the apron yeah. and distracts him, and that's what lets Sheamus get the upper hand. I'm going to write it down. I, I, I think that's part of kayfabe. Champa distracts Ricochet. I like, I like, I like this, how, like, we... We had no kayfabe going into this. We were like, let's just roll the dice and see what happens. But, like, as the dice are rolling and as stuff happens, we're, like, figuring out why these things are happening. Yes, we're like creating the, way, the story like the from the dice. The, the dice rolls just flipped. We had, like, a reason for it. Yes. Uh, I'm changing. I'm retiring those black dice. I'm popping with these green dice Ooh. now. Uh, next time. Moving right along to the next matchup. It's a women's versus women's match. Seamus? Seamus? <laughs> Seamus Baszler. <laughs> Uh, 
Shayna Baszler, the Raw Women's Champion, take it on Sasha Banks. Uh, I said earlier, Mikey, that this uh, is like a subtly, subtlety, uh, great match, great build for us. Uh, let's talk about it. Two years ago, uh, it was Sasha Banks versus Ronda Rousey, I believe. I'm going to have to double check, actually, my history here. But long-time listener, very, very much long-time listeners of this show uh, may remember uh, the history of Survivor Series a little bit. Uh, maybe not as much as we are, but uh, let's see. What do we got here? Survivor Series, I believe it was two years ago in 2018, where, let's see, let's see. Oh, no, it wasn't 2018. It was 2019. So in, in 2018, uh, Sasha Banks was the first person to defeat Ronda Rousey and win the Raw Women's Champion at the Royal Rumble. Uh, or I guess that was the early 2019, so this is January. Uh, then they go on to main event. Ronda Rousey, Sasha Banks go on to main event WrestleMania, and Ronda wins the Ro- Royal Rumble herself. Then, uh, you know, Sasha Banks, Raw Women's Champion for a very long time at Survivor Series 2019. Uh, or I, I, well, actually, let's take that back. Sasha Banks eventually loses it to Becky Lynch. So maybe I don't know where I'm getting Survivor Series history at all. So scratch everything I've said. Just don't worry about the fact that hey, this is a little bit of reback to that Ronda Rousey a little bit. I think. Um, so let's get it started here, Mikey. Uh, Baszler yeah. Banks, both at 20 HP. Let's get to it. Yeah. As I explain all the incorrect history of our lore. Uh, I rolled a 12. I rolled a 2. <laughs> oh, my God. And I rolled a 1 on a D6. So, yeah, there we go. Slow start. Yeah, Banks, Banks, takes, Banks takes a little uh, a jab from Baszler. Yes, she does. A little quick jab. Uh, a 12 on the D20. 3. <laughs> Oof. Uh, the jabs keep coming. A four. All right. Down to 15, Sasha Banks. Yeah, wearing her down. Slowly but surely wearing her down. A two. An 18. Oh, no. All right. That is four damage. Four damage down to 16. A little bit more back and forth here. Still, we're yeah. even here, basically. Uh, A four. A 17. Ah, jeez. Uh, that is five. Five damage, 16 of Shayna Baser down to 11. Oh, boy. Banks making a comeback here. Yeah. Uh, 12 on the D20. A 14. God dang it. Ooh, that was a close one, though. Oh, God. Oh, I rolled a one anyway, so it's fine. Okay. Well, then, uh, Baser down to 10. Oh, boy. Uh, 15 to my attack. An eight for mine, so you win there. Okay, that's a three damage to Sasha Banks. This is much more back and forth than the last one. A lot of back and forth. This is real back and forth action, which is exactly what I wanted to see. Holy crap, D20 is a 20. Oh, I rolled a 19. (laughs) Oh, Oh, well, first off. I was so excited for that 19, too. I was like, ooh, I'm going to get another hit here. I rolled that D20, so Baszler gets three health back, bringing her from 10 to 13. However, I only rolled a one on my damage. So, so two uh, damage. No, no, it doesn't double. It only doubles. All right, one. so it goes to a, Sasha Banks goes to eleven. Correct, Amundo. Uh, five to attack. Ten to attack. Okay, dang it. Uh, that's two damage. Two damage. Thirteen to eleven. Tied uh, 11 up here. Eleven to eleven. This is a this is a this, this is a good is, match. Just this like is we an even ass match. Uh, 10 to attack. 17. Ah, dang. I rolled a 1, though. Okay. <laughs> this is a very much like back and forth slow build, which yeah. is also the exact match I would what I wanted to see. Uh, I don't necessarily would call it slow, but just back and forth. Uh, a 3. A 13. Oh, God. <laughs> That's oh. a 6. That's a big one. Oh, my God. Sasha big was a shot huge from Sasha. move. Huge move. Huge signature move. All of my dice exploded out of my tower. 18, though. I rolled a 14, so you get this one. Aha! A 6 on Baszler! Ooh, right back! Yes, right back! Banks delivering a big, Banks delivering a big shot. Baszler shooting right back. Yes, Banks now down to 5 to Baszler's 4. This one's it, getting down to anyone's the wire. Game, anyone's game right now, Mikey. This, any, this could decide it right here, folks. Uh, I rolled a 3. <laughs> I also rolled a three. Oh, my God. 
This could decide it. Any of these rolls now can decide it. A 20! An 11, no! Uh, Baszler goes up from 4 to 7 to cut on my 20. I rolled a 3 for my damage. Ooh, Banks is at 2. Uh, you need a roll of 20 here to basically survive. Oh boy. Oh my god, this dice. Oh my god, 16. Mikey, you need to win this one. I lost my dice, though. Give me one second. You, you ah. straight up lost your dice, it's gone? Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's just chaos over there. <laughs> Everything is falling apart. And also, also, what a, what a, what a, what a rookie <laughs> shitty move to be like, oh, I guess we, I guess I can't lose because I don't have my dice anymore. Uh, <laughs> Not yeah. what I said. <laughs> That's but that's what you meant. Everything we all is know falling it. apart over here on Mikey's there, end. There's a camera there. There's a camera there. There's audio everywhere picking this up. We all, all right, know. I rolled a I rolled a fifteen that time. Oh, I rolled a sixteen, Mikey. Oh no! I had a sixteen and I rolled a six all on right. my D six. Basler takes this one. That's it, folks. Shayna Basler of seven banks down to zero. Shayna Basler wins. Gets that redemption from Ronda Rousey. Ah. Uh. Or on behalf of Ronda. All right, what's next? I mean, so far, next up is we have a tag team match. LLC, Lashley, and Cesaro taking on Undisputed Era. Lashley and Cesaro, obviously, with the new CEO of the LLC, MVP. Um, And by the way, Mikey, first off, uh, in Survivor Series totals, it's now uh, Raw 2, SmackDown 1. So uh, SmackDown needs to get a little bit more of that come up. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, so for this one, we have the tag teams at 15 health. Yes, 15 health each. Yes. To make it so it's not 10-10, but, you know, there's still, you know, yeah. a little bit more variety. Okay, let's keep it going. Seven. Ten. Farts. Hmm. All right, that's a four. So I'm going to have Cesaro take four here. Okay, 15 down to 11. Opening bout. And, of course, this is Undisputed Era. This is Bobby Fish, the newly returned Bobby Fish from injury. Bobby Fish mm-hmm. is the only person of Undisputed Era only getting injured ever, it feels like. Yeah, right. Uh, uh, I rolled a... What did I roll? What is this? A nine. I rolled a seven. I rolled a one, however, my D6. So, Bobby Fish, we're coming after you. Bobby Fish <laughs> going down to 14. Going after the injured one. Yes, why not? I mean, that's a smart play. Smart play, I say. 18. Also an 18. God saved dang it. it. Ah, saved it. Son of a butt. A 9 again. I rolled a 1. <laughs> I rolled a 5? Ouch. So, uh, that's 10 off of fish. Oh my gosh. Fish are already down to 4. Yeah. Not looking good. No, not looking good whatsoever. I can take out fish instantly. With just a good dice roll. 11. 19. Dang. Dang. Five. Three. So who are you attacking? Okay, Lashley. 15 minus 3, that is 12. Uh, I wrote an 11, right? I don't think you, I don't think we resolved this with dice roll. 18. It bounced off the wall. Oh, damn it. Okay, well, hit me with that d6. All right. So, uh, Lashley taking four. Okay, so that's 12 down to eight. Mm-hmm. Did my math correctly here. Who boy. Oh, it shot out. Uh, number 10 on that D20 attack. I also rolled the 10. Okay, well, goddamn. Uh, 10 again. Ha-ha. 13 for me. Ah, dang. Who are you attacking? Uh, I'm going to hit Cesaro for six. Oh, no. Red Dragon really come after him. So that brings him 11 down to 5. Mm-hmm. Cesaro is at 5. Lashley is at 8. That's a total health points of 13. Fish is at 4. O'Reilly's untouched at 15. 19. Oh, man. Not looking good for Red, red Team here. Uh, 15 on this attack roll. I rolled a 14. Oh, boy. I'm going to hit 2 on O'Reilly. All right, taking O'Reilly down to 13. Okay, next next matchup, we got 13 on the D20. I rolled a two. Aha, four. Fish is out of here. Oh, no. 
I mean, that's not how tag team matches work, but... No. <laughs> but it's not looking good. Oh my god, I just rolled both my dice and he shot out. I rolled a two. I rolled a 20! Oh no. <laughs> Can I bring Fish back from the dead or just, just O'Reilly just go back up to 15? Uh, up to you. Uh, I'll put Fish back at three. Sure. Let's say he got knocked out on the apron and uh, came back since... Since that is how tag team matches work. Yes, uh, yeah, sure. It was All a right, hot, so tag, hot, ta- fish, hot tag. Hot tag. <laughs> yeah, fish is back in it. Uh, okay. Wait, did we do the attack? Did we resolve the damage? Oh, no, we did not. Four to Lashley. Four to Lashley. Oh, crap. Lashley's at four. Cesaro's at five. I could be gone any moment here, folks. Uh, seven. Sixteen. God, could be gone here. This could be it. That's that's a one. Let's hit Cesaro. Okay, down to four. Both parties of the LLC at four. Newly crowned Raw Tag Team Champions beating Edge and Daniel Bryan. Can they beat Undisputed Area here? Five. Fourteen. Oh, no. Oh, no. I I rolled a three. Let's hit Lashley. Oh, no. The slow crawl to death here. I feel it here. Six. Four. Oh, I win it back. Uh, a four. So I'm going to hit O'Reilly for four. All right. Oh, boy. O'Reilly down to nine. Oh, not enough. I, I, need a, I need a lot of... I need a good streak of rolls, and it's not starting here if a two. I got a six. So. That's a three. Let's hit Cesaro. <laughs> That's a one. Cesaro and Lashley, both at one on their last dying breaths. Oh, I need man. a great string of rolls here. To win this. Uh, 15! 19! No! <laughs> That's a 3 to Lashley. 3 to Lashley. Lashley's gone. Lashley's out. I need could a come 20. Back, if you get a 20, you could come back. This is true. I need a 20 to save me. And a good ass roll to boot. That is a 14. I rolled a 3. I rolled a 2 on my D6. That's 2 to O'Reilly. All right, O'Reilly down to seven. Okay, come on, Cesaro. World champion material here. Oh, God damn it! What did you roll? A one. I rolled an eight. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Does Cesaro matter. down. <laughs> Does not matter. Impossible. He's at one, for Christ's sakes. All right, SmackDown getting a win back. SmackDown gets the win back. Oh, damn. And Undisputed Era. I think that makes sense. You know, they are Undisputed Era after all here. Hmm? You know, it's Fish and O'Reilly. I think it makes sense here. Ha, huh? damn. So, you know, it's two to two with two more matches left. Very interesting. This could Let's end in a tie. Could... <laughs> this could end in a tie. Uh, Let's move on to our next champion bout. It's Sheamus. Never mind. Why do I keep thinking Sheamus is in all these matches? <laughs> It's, it's the Sheamus Universal Zane Champion. versus Sheamus Lee. Universal Champion Sami Zayn versus Keith Lee. Again, because it's a singles match. 20 on 20 is the health. Let's do this, Mikey. Yeah. Oh, boy. I hope the folks at home, I hope you're enjoying this. I hope I hope you're liking this. It's a, very much an experiment here. We're brewing here. and a, You know, it's a little, I'm having fun here. So I hope the fun comes across, the fear of it all as well. I rolled a two. Very good start for Sami Zayn here, rolling a 20. <laughs> oh, the hell! He doesn't heal at all, but uh, I'll take it. I rolled a I one, <laughs> so not a good start. <laughs> no, what appeared to be. I feel a like really that good... was one of those things where uh, Sami Zayn tries to do a move on Lee, and Lee just like no sells it. Yeah, uh, thirteen on the D twenty. Three for me. Oh my god, uh, a four on the D six. All right, Zayn down to sixteen. Okay. Okay. Let's see how this one plays out here, folks. 13. 14. No. No. Roll the six. Big one from Zane here. Oh, whoops. Keep Lee down to 13. I almost typed Zane at uh, 1,613 health. Oh, Whoop. God. You wish. You uh, D20, is a, D20 is a six. 17. Fudge. Five. But I would... Five that brings Keith Lee down to eight. 
Uh, you have more than he- double my health. Uh, I would hate for Sami Zayn to win here, folks. And exactly, beat double your health back. Uh, I, I rolled a nine. I rolled an eight, so you got that one. Ha ha, with one hit. <laughs> one damage. <laughs> one damage. Sami Zayn down to 15. Come on, Keith Lee. Please, buddy. <laughs> Help me out here. Three. Come on, dude. I rolled a six. God dang it. And that's a one on the damage dice. We're doing great. I'm calling Audible. I'm retiring the green dice. Rolling in the these like, like reddish pink die die. Uh, I love them. Hopefully, Team Raw. Oh, twenty. I rolled a nine. You got this one. Oh my god! And Keith, Keith Lee, Lee goes back up to ten. Yes, he does. I rolled a four on my D six, bringing Zane down to twelve. Back. Wait, you rolled a four back on your D six? Yes, I did. He was at fifteen, so he's at eleven. Oh, my mistake. Uh, my mistake. All of a sudden, uh, this got close. All of a sudden, of a sudden came back, Keith Lee came back with the one fell swoop. The beauty of that 20. Uh, six. Fifteen. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Maybe he spoke too soon. Two. Maybe not. <laughs> a, little bit of a, a little bit of a hope spot for Keith Lee there. <laughs> it was one of those, like, comebacks that got shut down. No! This could be it, folks. I rolled a one. I rolled a two. <laughs> God dang it. You win on a two. Oh, I rolled a two on the damage dice. Oh, that brings my eight to a four. I That's the best. Right there. You could have ended it. That's the best case scenario, I guess, for me. Oh, Keith Lee's at four. Zane is at 11. Come on. 11 on the dice. 14 for me. God dang it. That's a five. Ah, uh, Keith Lee's out. <laughs> God dang it. We're really, really pushing Sami Zayn Sami here. Zayn, the ultimate champion. God, I really needed Keith Lee to win this. God dang it. Oh, man. Keith Lee. Keith Lee. Well, I like the idea that Keith Lee lost in Roman Reigns was the lone survivor. I probably can, probably can use something with that. You can work with that, I'm sure. Yeah, I can probably can work with that. All right, we got one more match, Ryan. Yes. One final match. The women's Survivor Series team. Team Raw, Sonya Deville, Peyton Royce, Rhea Ripley, Mickey James, and Liv Morgan. Uh, versus who? Taking on Alexa Bliss, Bianca Belair, Charlotte Flair, Piper Niven, and Tony Storm on the SmackDown side. It all comes down to this. Overall, SmackDown's winning by one. I need to win it back here. If I can win it back here, I win both Survivor Series matches, and that would be awesome. And we end in a tie. Uh, there's also something, uh, yeah, we ended the tie, I win both Survivor Series matches, and Baszler is my only champion to win her match. So, uh... Interesting. God dang it. <laughs> god dang it. Uh, poof. Poof, poof, poof. Poof, poof, poof. Um, well, let's get to it. Uh, like we said, at the same thing at the top of the show, if the men Survivor Series, everyone has ten health points. Yes. Let's get to it. I rolled an eight. I rolled a three. I rolled a four on the D6. Let's attack uh, Piper Niven. Piper Niven going down to six. Okay, keeping it moving. We got a nine on the D20 attack. I also got a nine. God dang it. Rerolling. Nice save and grace there. Another, actually, that's a six. I got a two. Oof, and I rolled a six on the D6. Let's hit Alexa Bliss with that six. Ooh, Alexa Bliss taking a big shot here. Going to four right off the bat. Big old shot. Kind of... You know, attack everyone. Attack on all fronts, I guess. 15! 12! Uh, uh, 2 on the D6, so let's attack Flair. For, Flair uh, goes to two. 8. Okay. Feeling good. Feeling good. But every single time I say that, I lose. So that is a 12. 14. Ah, well, I shouldn't have said anything. I rolled a 3. I'm going to take... Okay. I'm going to hit Teville for 3. Okay, the build down to seven. First person to go down and take an attack on Team Raw. Uh, that is a 16. That is a 19. God dang it. I had a good D6 roll, too. It's fine, I rolled a one. So let's, let's hit Morgan for one. If I could somehow win this. Beautiful. Uh, I got a uh, two. I got a three. <laughs> we suck. <laughs> <laughs> five damage. Taking, oh. hit, hitting Royce with five here. Royce. Five. Royce getting a big old hit. Big old stinker of a hit. Uh, seven. Twelve. 
<laughs> Two damage good. to Ripley. Ripley down to eight. All right, let's do a, let's do a quick uh, health update here. All over on Team SmackDown, we got Alexa Bliss on four, Bianca Belair at full health at ten, Charlotte Flair at eight, Niven at six, and Tony Storm at full health at ten. Team Raw, Mickey James untouched and ten, Morgan at nine, Ripley at eight, Devell at seven, Royce at five. <laughs> got a real build to uh, should have been Royce at six. I rolled eleven on my D twenty. I rolled a one. Ooh, that's your chance. <laughs> I wrote a five. Oh, you could just take somebody out here. I'm taking out Tony Storm. Wow. <laughs> Get out of here. Get back to NXT. <laughs> wow, out taking out Tony Storm in one shot. One shot. Tony Storm, first person eliminated. Yikes. Bad could've for me. Storm could have done Belair. Took out Storm. Oof, 14. 17. The six. Oh no. <laughs> let's let's hit James. Let's knock James down off full health here. Yeah, James is at four. The lowest now. Highest to lowest. Just that quick of a change. That quick of a finisher move. A two. I D20. rolled an eight. Oh. oh dang. Uh that's a four. You know what? Take out James. No. <laughs> James Right back at you. <laughs> oh, quick eliminations here. Okay. Keep it going. Ah, uh, 15. Three. Ooh, I rolled a one on my D6. Let's hit Belair. <laughs> Belair down to nine. Oh, geez. So, so far, uh, that total team health is 27 for Team SmackDown to 29 for Raw. Still very even. Very even, very close. Oh, my God. 15 on the D20. Two. Ooh, I hit a two on my D6. Let's uh, hit Belair for that two. All right, Belair down to seven. Okay. 16. Roll the nine. Oh, no. Five. Smackdown crumbles. Uh, let's hit Niven. Niven down five. to one. <laughs> get Niven out of here. See you, NXT UK. Uh, five. 11. Roll the four. Let's hit Ripley for four. Ripley going from 8 to 4 here. Still, let's see, is it even still? We got 20 for SmackDown. 25. I'm getting advantage, but I'm starting to lose it. Uh, 9. 10. Oh, no. 5 damage. You know what? Oh. Let's take out Royce. Yeah, that's what I figured. You have it open there. Why not? Go for the kill there. Uh, Peyton Royce down to 0. Both James and Peyton Royce have been eliminated. Uh, 17. I rolled a 14. Ah, haha. I rolled a 4 in my D6. Alexa Bliss, Outta you're out of here. Quick elimination back to back here. Back and forth eliminations from both teams here. Love to see it. It feels more even for some reason than the men's team. It's getting close. Men's Survivor Series. Close matchup. Um, 15. Ooh. -hoo. 16. Woo! No. Oh, I rolled a 6 on my D6. I was so ready. I to rolled take out a somebody. 5 on mine. Let's take out Ripley. No! Wait, wait, real quick. Real quick, real quick. Intermission. Before Ripley goes out, do you have any story moments you want with Ripley and Morgan? Go. Uh, uh, the, uh, Ripley's elimination is caused by Morgan. Okay. I'll say that. Ripley's elimination is caused by Morgan. Morgan doesn't, like, attack her. But it's something where, like, you it's very obvious that, like, you know, if Morgan did something or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, it kind of led to Ripley's uh, elimination here. Gotcha. I don't, don't want to say helps. I don't, know, I don't know what the actual word is. I get what you mean. All right, well, let's roll that uh, next damage dice. 13. I rolled a 4, so you got this one. Okay, I rolled a 2 on my D6. So let's let's take out... Why don't we take out uh, Flair for two? Take out Flair for two? Interesting. I thought you were going to go for Niven. Nah. Nah. We go for Flair. She's at eight. Bring it down to six. Uh, seven. Ten. A D20. Oh, jeez. I rolled a one. Let's hit Morgan for one. Okay. Uh, Morgan's at eight. DeVille is at seven. That's a 15 health for total, and we for have Team Raw. we have fourteen health over here for Team SmackDown. Yes, 
Yeah, so very still very even, but I only have I have two fresher people, but you have a lot of not as fresh people over on you, your side of the neck of the woods. Uh, six. Fourteen. Oh, no. Oh, no. Two. Let's hit Morgan for two. Okay. Give me the assault on Morgan, bring it down to six. Now it's very more, a lot more even. You have the edge just by Niven existing. I got a five. Just by Niven existing. I got a four, <laughs> so you got this one. Uh, a two. Let's hit Belair for two. All right. Belair going down to five health. Okay. Still, very even matchup. Come on, DeVille. Come on, Liv Morgan. Oh, no! The two, the two opposite ends of Absolution and Riot Squad here. I rolled a two. Working together. You rolled a two, I rolled a 14, and I have a six. Oh, no! Charlotte Flair. Charlotte Flair is done so, folks. Charlotte Flair is out of here. The queen. queen. More like she's being defeated. The queen, more the- like the meme. Both of these jokes are bad. No one said we're comedians. Uh, that's a 12. That is... Oh, no, a 1! Uh, <laughs> well, I rolled a 1, All and right. it gets doubled to 2, so we'll hit Belair for 2. All right, Belair down to 3. Belair down to 3. You got Belair for 3, Niven for 1. Obviously, 4 right. for team I health. I like this roll. Hopefully, De- hopefully it'll be good. DeVille for 7, Morgan for 6. Not looking good. I got a twelve. I got a nineteen. I rolled a one though. So Deville. Yeah, I figured as much. Oof. Not, not looking good. Not looking I have good for SmackDown. Three times. Three times as much health as you. Uh a nine. Thirteen. This might be the comeback, folks. This could be the a comeback. A six! <laughs> oh no. Morgan <laughs> going down. Oh no. Wow, oh, Ripley. Ripley gets eliminated, then Liv Morgan a little bit after that. Uh, got Only DeVille's left for six. Belair's at three. Niven is DeVille has more still health combined game. than both of my superstars. <laughs> but still anybody's game. All you basically need is one good D6 roll. And I still need two rolls. I got a one. I also, no. I also rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God. Thank goodness. Woo. Oh, the, ra- the Save, rain we, we saved each other there. <laughs> we saved each other. Uh, a six. Seventeen. No! Oh, you need... This could be it. That's a five! Damn it! Oh! <laughs> so close! Tony the Ville down to... Tony the Ville down to one health. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, rolled a one. I rolled an eight. Oh, that's it, folks. Team Raw has lost... Oh, that double one was funny, yeah. though. Oh, my God. Belair and Piper Niven. Lone survivors here. Belair and Piper Niven working together to finish off Team yes. Raw. Yes, they had. Whew. That, you know what that means. SmackDown wins Survivor Series this, this year. This is true. This is 100% true. Uh, you win, what is it? Uh, one, two, three, three to four two, to two. two. Four to two, SmackDown brings it home. Also, great showing by Piper Niven. <laughs> Went down to one very early and was able to hold on. Maybe, look, listen, you should have taken her out when I you had the chance. That's true. <laughs> I guess that's true. Well, there you have it, folks. Survivor Series is officially in the books. Oh my god. Let's just <laughs> let's just go over real quickly. Top down winners and losers. Mikey. And yeah. let's just get let's maybe just give our thoughts on all the winners. We already gave our thoughts in the pre-show, but let's start off on the actual main card here. Uh, thoughts on Raw getting the win here for the men's Survivor Series team, and, uh, and I like Roman it. being like, alone. Like survivor. you said, you could. I like it. Uh, I like the story coming out of this that Roman ended up winning. Roman ended up being the lone survivor here, and bringing out the uh, victory for for Raw. Uh, I think it could make it. It could help you later, you know. Yes, I honestly, I think, I think, personally, I think this makes a better story than uh, Raw, like winning with like everybody, like having like a dominant victory. Yeah, I think Roman Reigns being the lone survivor makes for a better, better stories down the line. Personally. Agreed, agreed. I, I, I think I had different ideas of who I wanted the lone survivor be if if we weren't doing the kayfabe wise of all this stuff, 
but uh, I I like this here. I like that Roman Reigns was the lone survivor, and it, we'll tie into it and talk about it later with Keith Lee losing his matchup. But I think, you know, if Roman Reigns wants to go back after Keith Lee, you know, we ha- they have we haven't seen Roman Reigns and uh, and uh, we haven't seen Roman Reigns since Hell in the Cell when where Keith Lee returned, mm-hmm. and now he's returned here. He's won his match. He's the lone survivor. Um. <sighs> Is it going to be a title match down the line? Probably. I mean, honestly, why not? Story's not over. I can tell more with it. Uh, let's move right along into the mid-card titles. Sheamus versus Ricochet. Sheamus picks up the victory with the help of Tommaso mm-hmm. Ciampa, who distracts Ricochet. Wow, Sheamus to get the win. Yeah, I, I think that was uh that was that was a cool story bit that we added in there to to work with the the, the really rapid switch of dice rolls. Yeah, really. It was what was it? Because it was Sheamus when it went down to ten. And then literally, all of a sudden, Ricochet went from twenty to zero. Yeah, it was like what? It was like Sheamus got hit with a big one, two, three from Ricochet, went down to like eleven, and then Sheamus came back and just ended up getting a bunch of big yeah, hits. It only makes sense. <laughs> well, it's, sorry, Sheamus. It only makes sense if Masa Champa uh, gets a thing. Yeah, I, I like this. I like the fact that it's a story moment. I like the fact because then it because it, it proves Sheamus right. Which, as a heel, is an interesting thing. That you know, what, what was I want to see if I can find the exact phrasing that uh, Sheamus said. Uh, he just won a title, and I plan on showing him just what it means to be a champion. Show him that everyone is gunning for that huge target that just put on his head. Even other champions, I'm going to show him that he's not ready to have that title. And guess what? Sheamus proved himself right by defeating Ricochet. Uh, yes. So good on Sheamus there. Plus, you know, Ricochet was going after him. Would Ricochet have won the title at all if? Uh, if Sheamus is still on Raw, who knows? Uh, you know the kayfabe stuff lies. But Champa distracted Ricochet, so we'll see where this story goes. Mm-hmm. Af- after that, we have Shayna Baszler taking on Sasha Banks, and Shayna Baszler picks up the victory. Yeah, I like this. Uh, it's like it continues. I like that it it rolls back to the four horsewomen of MMA with getting Ronda Rousey getting her you know redemption match win back with the help of Baszler here. Um, mm-hmm. it very much continues Shayna Baszler's reign of terror. Honestly, Shayna Baszler has been number one for a very long time. Um, and just you know, bringing down Sasha Banks here did just that even more. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, I uh, as much as as much as I hate to see Sasha lose here, I think it it makes se- it makes the most sense, which is funny because it was random, but. <laughs> I do think Shayna Baszler winning here makes sense because uh, it, it continues her dominance over on Raw. Really proves the fact that she she is possibly going to be champion for a long time, and it's going to take someone pretty big to to take that. From yeah, her. I I need a good, sizable, possible contender to take her down. It yeah. needs to be someone. It's like if Sasha Banks if Sasha Banks couldn't do it, who's gonna? Exactly, you know? exactly. I mean, who's the next highest woman on my Raw roster according to our Ocelot scores? According to our numbers, uh, that. Well, Becky Lynch, but, uh, you know, uh, mm-hmm. a little occupied. Uh, Rhea Ripley, actually, would be the next person. Uh, but uh, uh, their point differential here, so like the Ocelot scores or whatever is a whole mathematical stuff. I don't want to talk about it too much. Basically, uh, point differential here is 118, 17, 0. 0.35. Ugh, I can't even do math on a god dang calculator. I'm a god dang fool. 1639. Uh, point differential of 178 points, where you only trade almost like 10 points a match. <laughs> so it's uh, quite a difference. So Rhea Ripley needs to go on a tear here. Uh, a little bit to me, a sizable challenge. It will it be Rhea Ripley? I guess we'll find out. Uh, we have another pay per view after this. Uh, tag Team Division. LLC, the new champions with M- MVP versus Undisputed Era. Champions versus Champions match. Mikey, thoughts on this? Uh, this was interesting. I feel like this could have gone either way, uh, but I'm glad Undisputed Era got the victory. I'm glad Bobby Fish coming back and bringing back Red Dragon uh, was... I like to think that Bobby Fish uh, being in here is what secured it. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good thought. But, you know, really tying together that teamwork between Fish and O'Reilly. Yeah. Really bringing back, like, the core tag team of Undisputed Era there with uh, Fish and O'Reilly. Yeah. I don't really have like a huge like storyline take uh for this match. You know, I, I like I think if anything the storyline take is that, you know, Undisputed Era were team longer. Um mm-hmm. 
you know, not, none of the tiles were on the line, so that that part doesn't necessarily matter. But like, you know, it, I, 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 th there's nothing I can really th think of that really attributes to like a oh, storyline take or anything. But but it's a good win on the speed Era's part. Uh, so sucks to suck, LLC. Would would it have been <laughs> different if Edge and Daniel Bryan were here? I mean, that's the question, I guess. I don't know. Would would the dice have rolled differently? Maybe. Who knows? Uh, champion versus champion, the big title. Sami Zayn defeating Keith Lee. Yeah, that was. Uh, this is a surprise to me. I would argue. Uh, I would argue an upset. Yeah, I would say so. Uh, Sami Zayn continuing his quest to be quote the greatest universal champion this company has ever seen. Uh, cement, it's trying to cement his legacy by taking down Keith Lee and being the uh, what did he say last week? The ultimate champion of the WWE. Yes, I want. I want to say that's vaguely correct. Uh, for context, yeah, the ultimate champion of WWE from the the promo last week. Actually, not really an upset. According to our Ocelot scores, Sami Zayn is ranked thirty two, while Keith Lee is ranked thirty seven. <laughs> I don't know. I would still call it an upset. Yeah, <laughs> I'm still willing to say that Sami Zayn was the it underdog. It still doesn't here. feel like it. Still doesn't feel like it. But uh, yeah, Keith Lee's reign hasn't been as fruitful as I would have liked, and probably should the be. The thing is that the crazy thing for me that I'm thinking of is that if it was face Sami Zayn, I could see this happening. But that it's heel Sami Zayn, so I wouldn't have. I didn't expect it as much. That's you fair. know, that's fair. And let's talk about Team SmackDown uh, winning the Women's Survivor Series match. Uh, Bla sorry, Belair and Niven are your lone survivors. How do you feel about that, Mike? Very interesting. Uh, I like Niven. I like I like Bianca Belair and Niven. The the, the NXT UK, uh, the NXT sorry NXT and NXT UK stars, mm -hmm. uh, holding it down for SmackDown. Uh, with all the main roster, uh, people getting knocked out pretty early with Charlotte Flair and Bliss. Uh, I like I like that Bianca Belair and uh, Piper Niven were able to pick up the pieces. It, well, I mean, it's, I guess it's hard to call them NXT people because literally every single person, except for Mickey James, <laughs> is from the NXT. <laughs> That's true. No, you're right. Yeah, I, I, it, it's like the less known That's people. Fair. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to, it's, it's hard for me to to describe what I mean. But no, I get you. I think everyone understands. I get you. I, I like this. I like like I appreciate you giving the momentary story moment to have. Morgan sort of lead to Ripley's elimination. I like that. Yeah, I figured I figured you would want to do something with that. So if I was no matter what before whoever got eliminated first, I was going to ask if you wanted to do something. Yeah. But cuz I figured you would want to fit something in there since you put them both on the team. Well, let's talk about the fact that uh that I think is cr sort of crucial here is that it, it I I've I've asked you about your thoughts of the storyline and you said that like you don't really know who's like being honest, who's telling the truth, what's really happening. Uh, and mm -hmm. I feel like this moment was sort of like that slip up for Morgan's front or, or whatever, where Morgan sort of led to Ripley's elimination. here. Interesting. You know what I mean? Like that, that sort of aspect of like, uh, you know, she didn't, you know, help Ripley, but I'm just, well, I'm interested now to see now that we've like, physically seen something where Morgan did or did not do anything to help lead to Ripley's elimination. I'm interested to see how that folds out, unfolds out. Yeah, me as well. And I'm also praised to Bel Air Niven. Uh, Niven has been someone that you've been pushing for a very long time, so I, I like that Niven gets a little more praise here. And I like Belair. Yeah, this will definitely help the push. Yeah, help the push even more. I like Belair getting the win here, too. Uh, two, let's just say it, Mikey, I'll say it, two potential challengers, I would say, for this title. Definitely, I would. I would definitely put them up there. Uh, Sasha Banks ranked number four. Uh, Piper Niven ranked fifteen. Uh, Belair ranked forty three. <laughs> but I'm sure. I'm sure after this win, they all got bumped up even more. So uh, we'll see. Niven actually might be way higher now because Sasha Banks would have dropped a bit. The P Niven might have gotten higher as well. So maybe even closer. So maybe Niven is the next guy. But only you can find out, folks, by subscribing to this podcast feed. Obviously, if you subscribe to this podcast feed, not only will you get uh, this show every single Friday, where you can find out all those extra story moments and how they unfold, we'll continue doing this show, uh, obviously. But also, if you subscribe to the Countout Podcast Network, you'll get bonus shows like G1 and Only, like Independent Waters, uh, and more to come. Uh, Mikey, you want to talk about Independent Waters? What do you got to talk about? 
Yeah, so Independent Waters is a show that comes out every Wednesday where me and Zach Batista find little hidden treasures from the ind- independent wrestling scene and uh, present them to you and give them our our review uh, so you guys can so you guys can uh, experience the independent scene with us as we discover new re- as we discover the world of new wrestling. Uh, me and Batista both came from very uh, WWE back heavy backgrounds when it comes to wrestling, so it's nice to be branching out like this and going into more independent stuff, seeing how different the wrestling is there than it is on TV, uh, which is really cool. So come join us on that journey. Yeah. I, every Wednesday. I like the idea of you all like sort of discovering, you know, going outside of the WWE bubble. I think if, if anything that has come out of 2020, I think that uh, a lot of people feel a little burnt out by WWE and maybe not burnt out is the word, but more of just, more of just like morally, moved on ethically moved on from WWE. morally more i feel like people are morally like uh diverging because they want the wrestling but they th- they still think the only place they can get wrestling like that is wwe but it's like no just reach out a little bit go on youtube go check out some ind- indie stuff uh go to listen to independent water so you can get some recommendations for some matches and i also feel like uh, uh and maybe you can speak to this mikey at all for independent waters as well uh but just round up the pitch here but I feel like, you know, because I think there's something to say also in regards to the quality of watching WWE versus a lot of independent wrestling, whereas, you know, WWE's quality is, you know, squeaky clean, you know, HD resolution, you know, all this other stuff, you know, pyro and, you know, bright lights and lasers and all this crap, where I feel like some people are you know, set off by independent wrestling because it's like, you know, shot with these handheld cameras and, you know, it's not as good quality or whatever sometimes, but do you, do you feel like the quality of the production really, you know, really showcases the quality of the wrestling? Does that make sense? I I think so, because with indie wrestling, because it, like you like you said, it doesn't have like that. It doesn't have that that billion dollar budget that WWE has or AEW has. Right. It doesn't have that crazy production budget. It's not run by billionaires. It's run by just people who love wrestling. Thousandaires. And that's. Yeah. debtors <laughs> it's it's run it's run by I, I like i don't want to use the term like normal people but it's run by like like you know like people with just just like us basically who just have a love of wrestling and have a little extra money in their pocket to run a, a cool wrestling business and and we're talking we're talking deep deep indies not like ring of honor or you know yeah yeah super like, indies kind of thing yeah it's it's like anybody if you really love wrestling anyone can start a promotion and I personally like the lack of huge production value because it does put more focus on the wrestling itself. There's no, there's no like crazy. It's like sometimes there's no like crazy storylines you gotta think if you're paying attention to. Sometimes there, there's no like crazy pyro that's gonna distract you. It's all in the ring right there. And I don't know. You just get more. I and with these guys traveling from place to place, I feel like you just get more connected to indie wrestlers. You know, I yeah. feel like. When when they when you go to a show and it's like, hey, I know that guy from that other brand, like that's super cool, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Like when you see them on different promotions, I think it just it, it makes you feel almost like a like a rock, like a groupie to like a rock star, <laughs> like you know, like you're just following them around, they're bouncing around from promotion to promotion. Yeah, I get that. Uh, taking bookings wherever they can. It just it just really makes you attached, and I think it it is such a beautiful way to experience wrestling now. Uh, and it's not, and it's not as predictable as WWE is. I could, if if you sat me down in front of a WWE match, I could probably call it shot for shot at this point, like <laughs> blow for blow. But in indie matches, it's always new. It's always exciting. They're they're always breaking out new offense, like to to wow the the ten people that are in that crowd, the ten, twenty, thirty, forty, whatever, how many people are in that crowd. They're pulling out these crazy maneuvers, these crazy spots crazy sequences just to impress that crowd. But the thing, it, it, and they don't do that in WWE because it's safe, right? They already have that crowd. They have that, well, they have that audience. They have all those people watching them. Well, they have the sound. They don't they have, have, the to, they don't have to push. Guys. Exactly. They don't have to push the bar like the indie wrestlers do to get that attention. And I think that's what makes indie wrestling great. Sorry, I went off on a little bit of a tangent there. Uh, I, I feel like independent wrestling is like Silicon Valley. Where it's like it's cutting edge, and a lot of times you can have these big stars, but also you could have a lot of you could have like a lot of nonsense, nothingness. 
I mean, that's one of the, that's another thing about indie wrestling, right? It's just the waves of stars, how people like rotate in and out, and there's always there's always new people to pay attention to, right? Yeah. In WWE, like I, you don't get that. There's not big stars anymore. There's no Stone Colds or The Rocks or Undertakers, Mankind. There's not none of that. I feel like there's not really that much of that anymore. Remember when? Remember uh, when Drew McIntyre? Day, became, WWE. Remember when Drew McIntyre became WWE champion last week and in front of in front of nobody. But also, <laughs> but also like no, no, like last Monday he became WWE champion. Did anyone yeah. hear about it? Nah. Remember how? Really. Remember how there's a Survivor Series pay per view in real life, and I keep forgetting about it. Like I almost forgot to record the show with you today. I was like, oh yeah, yeah Survivor Series. All right, that's that's the only yeah, the only thing that helps me remember that we have a pay per view coming up in WWE is the show is when we record these episodes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, don't forget! Uh, technically, this is uh, what well, we we didn't even do on the show, but technically, this is also the 30th anniversary of the Undertaker, and so it, it's going to be his like uh, last moment or whatever, his last farewell. Didn't even do that on the show. Whoops! <laughs> didn't even talk about it. Didn't even do it. I mean, who cares? <laughs> listen, yeah, it, it's it's. Uh... Anyways, go listen to G One and Oli. <laughs> Yeah. Also, yeah. Also, Ryan, what's G One and only? No, we, we, went, we, went, we don't have time. I, I went really deep into indie waters. We don't have time. Just listen. T- check it out. There's a trailer. You can go check it out. It's not our YouTube channel. It's not our <laughs> podcast page. Go check that out if you need a, any more info. But uh, yeah, <laughs> one of the dunk on the Undertaker real quickly. <laughs> Remember those on Hot Ones recently? I thought that was a good interview, but I just thought it was funny. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. So uh, that that ends this. Let, let's wrap this up. What an episode! Up with a nice little bow. Shadow what an episode! Uh, thank you everybody for listening to this week's this special, this pay per view special of Hit the Books again. Uh, subscribe to this podcast feed so you can get all more episodes as they come out. And while you're at it, leave a five star review. It would help us out a lot and help you out. Obviously, if you you know the more shows you review, the more you know it's a- iTunes algorithms they able to recommend stuff to you, or whether it be I- iTunes or Spotify or what have you. Uh, you know, better. It's a better way for you to be recommended things. You know, it's all part of that those alg- algorithms world that we live in and whatnot. Um, so we would appreciate it at the very least. It takes no time whatsoever to go check that out. Uh, thank you again, everybody, for listening. We'll be back this Friday for an all new episode of Hit the Books. Uh, very excited for how that show is going to come out. Coming out of Survivor Series, <laughs> uh, Mikey. Thank you so much. As always, uh, we'll see everybody next Friday. Go, go support indie wrestling. Fuck WWE. <laughs> what an ending. Anyways, we'll see you this Friday for our WWE re- rewrite show. <laughs> this Friday. Uh, I just love it. I love you, Mikey. Uh, see you, everybody. Love you too, uh, buddy. Until then, we got two words for you. Book it.